Gunnery Sergeant Joseph Felix exited a courtroom after testimony on Tuesday at Camp Lejeune. NC Sergeant Felix was sentenced on Friday to 10 years in prison for mistreating Marine recruits. Rory Love at it Washington Post, via Associated Press Raleigh, North Carolina, a Marine Corps drill instructor was sentenced on Friday to 10 years in prison for choking, punching or otherwise tormenting recruits, especially three Muslims, one of whom ultimately killed himself by leaping down a stairwell. A military jury handed out the punishment to Gunnery Sergeant. Joseph Felix one day after convicting him of abusing more than a dozen trainees at the Marine Boot Camp at Paris Island, SC among other things, he taunted the Muslims as terrorists or ISIS and ordered two of them to climb into an industrial clothes dryer, spinning one of them around in the scorching machine until he renounced his faith, the jury decided. Sergeant Felix, 34, a veteran of the Iraq War, was also ordered to forfeit all pay, demoted to private and given a dishonorable discharge. Sergeant Felix was a central figure in what was found to be a group of abusive drill instructors at Paris Island. After the March 2016 suicide at the base, a hazing investigation led to charges against him, five other drill instructors and the training battalion's commanding officer. Eleven others faced lesser discipline. Abusive drill instructors have long been stock characters in books and s like Full Metal Jacket. But that 1987 film was set during the Vietnam War, and the Felix trial shows that since then the Marines have drawn clearer lines between what instructors can and cannot, said Michael Hansel, a former Navy lawyer who attended the proceedings at Camp Lejeune. NC this generation now, there's things that I think that were much more focused on. In particular, in this trial, it's calling people names based on the religion and targeting people based on the religion, said Mr. Hansel, now a lawyer in private practice specializing in military law. I don't think anyone would say that was acceptable ever, but it probably was not prosecuted in the past the way it would be now. The charges against Sergeant Felix included commanding recruits to choke one another ordering them to drink chocolate milk and then training them until they vomited and punching recruits in the face or kicking them to the ground. An instructor drilling marine recruits behind their barracks in Paris Island, SC, in 2012. Stephen Morton for the New York Times he wasnt making Marines. He was breaking Marines, Lieutenant Col. John Norman, a prosecutor, told the jury on Wednesday. He called Sergeant Felix a bully who heaped special abuse on three Muslim recruits because of their faith. One of them, Raheel Siddiqui, 20, a Pakistani-American from Taylor, Mitch, hurled himself to his death after what the jury decided was mistreatment by Sergeant Felix that included slapping Mr. Siddiqui and calling him a terrorist. Mr. Siddiqui's family sued the Marine Corps last month for $100 million. The government did not charge Sergeant Felix with any crime directly related to Mr. Siddiqui's death. The judge, Lieutenant Col. Michael Labretto, did not allow testimony about whether Sergeant Felix's actions were responsible for the recruit suicide. Sergeant Felix also was convicted of ordering Lance Corporal Amir Bormchi into a dryer, which then was turned on as Felix demanded, Are you still Muslim? Lance Corporal Bormchi testified that he twice affirmed his faith and that Sergeant Felix and another drill instructor twice sent him for a bruising, scorching tumble inside the machine. After a third spin, Lance Corporal Bormchi said, He feared for his life and renounced his religion. The drill instructors then let him out, he said. Sergeant Felix was found guilty as well of ordering Lance Corporal Bormchi to simulate chopping off the head of a fellow Marine while reciting God is great in Arabic. The jury decided Sergeant Felix also ordered Rikan Hawes, a native of Iraqi Kurdistan, to climb into the dryer. The machine was never turned on. Sergeant Felix was convicted, too, of rousing nearly two dozen recruits from their sleep, ordering them to lie on the floor, and then walking on them along with two other drill instructors. In a closing statement on Wednesday, Navy Lieutenant CMDR Daniel Bridges, a defense lawyer, said the government unfairly fashioned contradictory witness accounts into a case against the brawny drill instructor who called all recruits terrorist.